Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still at Finkton. Well, we just arrived at Finkton. We were dropped off the airship we commandeered back at the soldier's field. And uh, yeah, we kind of pissed off Elizabeth because she figured out that we're uh, not as friendly as she thought we would be. So, uh, well, she kicked us in the head. She uh, got ambushed by the Vox Populi and then she escaped and we were eventually got uh, dropped off the ship ourselves. and uh, well we got the assignment to get guns for the Vox Populi and in return we would get our airship back so let's take a look around here because there's a, a few nice things here uh, from now on I do have to be careful with my actions because if I steal something people are gonna be mad uh, if I activate my vigors people are gonna start freaking out you ain't gonna see him around no more Okay, so somebody went missing. Uh, I can search the desk. I'm not going to do that because it's ammo I can't really use at the moment. But let's listen to Hattie Gerst. Samuel always thought that the pew on Sunday went hand in hand with the desk on Monday. Science is the oh, slow revelation of God's blueprint. After two years in the Lamb's Tower on Monument Island, he took ill with cancer of the stomach. I prayed to the prophet, and the prophet delivered unto us a miracle through his servant, Fink. I do not know if I will ever get used to a husband bound in a skeleton of metal, but better a handyman than a dead one. So there we go, we already know that the handyman, those big burly robot dudes, were uh, people that were, uh, well, heavily sick and uh, turned into those uh, things and somehow are still alive so that's what the, that woman told us she uh well she realizes that her man is now alive even though he is a handyman this is getting quite loud isn't it um I'm just gonna quickly go through this area and loot a bit and i'll see you guys when anything happens so i think we're gonna have to alert the, these guys anyway because i need to cross across this um, airship but I don't think people will like that hand cannon ammo we haven't seen a hand cannon yet he doesn't seem to mind okay okay we're still fine uh, I saw a lockpick over there but I'm gonna first enter this building another employees only building I don't think they mind they mind just yet no, they don't. Dude, ooh, I can't take the gear without them uh, starting to freak out. Which is actually fine by me, because I usually start antagonizing these guys when I'm in here. Since I'm in the advantage and everybody who comes in, there's only one entrance, so uh, I can get the drop on anybody here. If I just select Devil's Kiss, there we go. Shoot this guy in the face, because otherwise he's going to attack me anyway. Let's put the Devil's Kiss down. Just in case anybody comes in. And let's check this out. Nitro Vest. Increase radius of explosive weapon splash damage. I think the vest is, well, compared to ammo advantage, uh, it's still a very nice advantage, the uh, clip size increase. Okay, they exploded. Uh, maybe even a, another trap down. There we go. That's on the door. Okay. Hi. Hmm. Just gonna wait. If anybody comes in here, they're gonna be. Oh, okay. And a headshot. Uh, what, what the? There we go. And chop the head off. Jesus Christ, those are br brutal every single time. I'm just gonna get everything here because there's a trophy to do uh, 20 of those executions that's why I sometimes uh, try to do those um, oh, was there something else oh it's this corpse that has a lot of money uh, there's also money in this save I'm just gonna grab all of it no no oh, there's money in the safe I can see it there we go search the desk for some ammo and more silver eagles where that came from. Uh, now I'm gonna have to be careful because now of course I'm gonna lose my advantage over here. Let's open up the door. Because I think those mosquitoes are not my friends. There we go. Halt. No. 
think there's another one. Yeah, there we go. I could also go for possession. Is that, is that now working for me? Yeah, it is. There we go. Are you seriously firing at me still? Okay, so they destroyed it, which is, well, fine by me. I still have my uh, sniper rifle. I'm gonna gut okay. you like a pig. I think I almost have him. There we go. This guy's gonna suicide. There we go. That is. I, I just. I mean, I love the vigors because they have a bit more uh, variety than the. Uh, the plasmids, but that's just a horrifying effect. The fact that these guys just suicide when they have been possessed, it's just just fucking creepy, man. Uh, I'm almost out of sniper rifle bullets, so I might actually go for the crank gun again. Just to blast some fools if I can. Because of course there's a trophy tied to every single one of these weapons to have a number of kills with them. And I want to have all of these in the... well, in one playthrough if I can. I think there's enough enemies to do that. Um, now that we are free to roam this place because everybody's dead, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I saw another lockpick over here. I think, yeah, there. Behind the pillar here. Because I could see that from the other side of the, the pipe. Um, let's continue on. Eyes forward. So uh, we're getting into the working area. What the hell? Oh, that's a piece of cloth on the air conditioning. That was that looked really weird. And a picture of uh, Jeremiah Fink. Ooh, there was an, a bit of an accident with uh, Shock Jockey here. Hello. You don't seem to mind my presence here. I can actually pick something up here. I don't know why these are here sometimes, but these just function as uh, salt bottles. Okay, here we go. I turn around. Yeah, there's another sniper rifle. Actually, hmm. There's a lot of ammo for it as well. Might actually go back to the sniper rifle. Uh, sniper rifle ammo. There we go. Come on. There we go. And Not the rest is carbine ammo. Well, there we go. Let's just keep the shotgun handy for now. Just in case we come across anybody who's uh, no just ill And us us let's pry open this door. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? And there's Elizabeth. Hey! Hello, bud. Just stop for a minute! Stay away! No, stay here, Elizabeth! Okay. God damn it, I need to duck for that. And then just keep running, keep running. Just there she is. Just want to talk to you! There she is. I said stay away! Oh no, Pulse. Uh oh, what's that? Oh! Elizabeth! Balloons! Okay. Get away from me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away. I'm not angry with you! Oh, um... Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Okay, that must have been weird for those guys as well. Back. Ooh, there's another one. God damn it! A freaking train! I am not going with you! You don't really don't get damaged there. by that, but... I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! It's her! Call it in! No! Call it in. Okay. No! Let me go! So there she made a, an actual hole in the wall there. Uh, I have a bit of time, so I'm just going to check way. this this uh, out already. Captain Vivian Monroe. They called Slate a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in the Hall of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the Hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only... Envy for those who perished under his banner. So Captain Monroe was the woman who uh, felt very strongly towards uh, Slate, and uh, she was apparently part of the squad that tried to kill as much of uh, Slate's men as they could, uh, which is of course something she didn't want to happen, want to have happen. Um, let's see, Fort Franklin Pier. Seems like it's quiet for now. There's a few airships lying around here. And more sniper rifle ammo, always handy, especially since it looks like we're gonna get, uh, well, into a bit of trouble. Here, here. Volley, volley gun ammo. 
We haven't seen that yet. Okay then. So we're gonna have to save her over there. Um, just wanna be careful here. I can't shoot through the window, so we're gonna have to find another way. Did they already see me? I don't think they did. Got the rebox. Is there anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. Um, wonder if I can actually snipe. Oh, come on, back on there. There we go. I think making headshots from the skyline is also a trophy. There we go. Just gonna go for the trophy immediately now. And that's there we go with that one, and then one more. There we go. There we go. Oh shit. Okay. That's a problem. That's a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem. Ooh, God. Did I, did I disappear? I don't think I disappeared, but... Okay. Whew, there's my shield again. Do I have any healing items over here? A lot of money. That's not something I can use at the moment. Um, dollar bill. More money for me. And then, hmm. Adds ability to chain floating effect from one enemy to others. Or the increase the damage of Devil's Kiss. Well, both are nice, but I think I'm gonna go for Bronco Age first. So now the floating effect can chain to all the enemies. And let's equip that. I will kill Any of them coming? Doesn't seem like it. That's a bit weird, but... Let's go for him, then. There we go, and then... Boom. I think that's gonna drop him, yeah, off Colombia. He is? Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is that last guy? Did he go up there? Oh yeah, he did. There we go. Okay, that was a bit clumsy, but at least that did the job. Let's take a look around here and loot most of the corpses. So on the lower floor, there's also another prison area where there's an infusion inside of the cell for some reason. So let's pick that up and go for uh, another shield infusion. Perfect. So with that done, I think I'm just gonna drop off here. Was there something in the cells that I missed? I don't think so, because there's a few prisoners here, but we can't really access those uh, guys from here. So let's open up the door that should house Elizabeth over here. And there she goes again. Ugh. Elizabeth, wait! Where did she go? Oh, there she goes. And dismount. Took a bit of a shortcut. Hello! Oh god. Hello, handyman. Oh shit. Up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Okay. That seems to be fine. No! Oh, that was nice. He has incredible aim. And slipping! Oh god. And there we go, Elizabeth saves our ass with a, an impromptu Zeppelin. And there she is. Hey, I'm slipping! Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? 
You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching And we're still hanging from an airship, by the way. So please give me a hand. Thank you. Thank you. So, back in tow with Elizabeth. This is gonna be fun. Don't get too comfortable with my company, you know, Mr. DeWitt. I wasn't born you are deaf. a mean <laughs> son I hear what it is Well, uh, you are too, Elizabeth. You are too. So let's take a look through the, the telescope here, because that's part of the trophy as well. La di da di da. I don't think there's anything here. Because there was, of course, that first Easter egg in the first telescope, but I don't think there's anything here. Because most of it is pretty blurry. Uh, okay. Just gonna. Ooh. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Yeah. Pick this look, please. That's gonna be nice. Anything in here? The soldier doesn't seem to mind, although he's on high alert. Ooh, gear. Skyline reloaded. Jumping on or off a skyline reloads a, a well the weapon you're you have equipped. Uh, and that's against headmaster again, so no, I'm just gonna take it. We'll there we go. Got the silver bar, which gives us a little no, money sir. again. And uh, Fink, well, Fink is starting to well start shouting all of stuff. Um, I think we can safely loot this area because sometimes it's not clear, but for now it's not stealing. I think. Even though I'm just picking up the money from these guys' bags. Um, and they look kind of uh, poor already. And that means we can enter Finkton proper to leave the area. Wasn't even aware, but this area is actually called Finkton proper. Um, so your future is Finkton. So the working man looking at his uh, watch. Okay. Who sent you to find this person? There we go. Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Yeah, apparently. So Chen Lin, gunsmith and machinist. So that's where we're gonna have to go. Um, but first, let's check around over here. Uh, there's another kinetoscope. The path of the Vox Populi. Daisy Fitzroy leads her poisonous posse to ruination. And yeah, there we go. That was a pretty short one. So 17 more left of those. Um, Vinny Vidi Vigor. Ooh, I don't have enough money for Devil's Kiss boost. I thought it was all it was gone immediately, but whew, luckily not. Um, let's keep going here. Still need a bit of food. No, no food in the purse. Okay. Looks like this is the way into Finkton, but again, the music is completely gone at the moment. So uh, we've had that before where we were ambushed in the train station. But uh, yeah, I'm don't, not really sure if this is going to happen here as well. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. So this is interesting. So Finkton is not recruiting at this time. So Finkton is looking in. for people all the time, but of course the poor people want the job because uh, otherwise they don't have a means of uh, earning some money. Um, so everybody here is actually begging them for a job, but yeah, they're clearly stating no jobs today, which is uh, very sad. But we're gonna see Sorry, more sir, of that later but on. I was led to understand that there was work here. All my forms are in order. Be that as it may, we are at quota. But, but I spent all I had left on the jitney from Baxton Town, sir. Well, we're taking all the Class C hirelings we intend to take on at present, okay? What if I come back tomorrow? As of now, you don't work for Mr. Fink, so you are free to run hither and yon. So there we go. Um, these guys actually spend the lost money getting here. Glad okay. it's his turn. I've had enough of repeating myself to barely employable halfwits. Oh no, he has just another hour left. Let's get this ready to lock put a back. smile back. And Anna Fox's phone no, from uh, Jeremiah Fink himself. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is is just a commodity. Old Comstock, well, he does produce, but like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. 
Timber, that's Fink Timber, a Fink Hammer, and Fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> he needs me, lest he soil his own. So Jeremiah Fink realizes that Comstock is strong in his beliefs, but of course needs uh, a businessman to have uh, Columbia running as well. And uh, Fink is just using Comstock for his own means. So let's uh, like this. Sure pick thing. this lock. We just have enough uh, lock picks for that. So uh, here we go Done. again. Because I think if you don't have those five starting lock picks from the Industrial Revolution pack, oh. you can't get everything in the game. Um, well, not in one playthrough, uh, at least. Let's go with Salt's infusion. Nice. There's another infusion. And then let's loot Here's everything else here. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Might that be enough to buy the... Ooh, that is, definitely. That was almost 200 coins. There we go. Let's loot this entire place. And I think this is pretty much it. But there we go. The volley gun. I'm going to pick that up and uh, get all the ammo we can get. Because this, uh, this is actually practically a grenade launcher. So uh, we're going to see that in action later on. But that's, I think it's one of my favorite weapons in the game. Because uh, it really has a nice kick to it. And the explosions are really, really nice. Uh, but now, we can get around this place by going either to the right or to the left. There's both uh, entries over here. It doesn't really matter which one you take, and both are hairpin lock locks. So there we go, Elizabeth can pick that with her, uh, with her hairpin. There Got we it. go, easy as that. Over now we're going to have to be careful. Service elevator. Should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. So there we go, get ourselves killed in the bargain, but... I think I have a plan to get this going. If I possess that hmm. thing over there. What is a life compared to a fake? Let's see how that turns out. out. Are you gonna fire or no? <laughs> Jesus Christ. gonna try and uh, have that thing again at my side. Is there anybody here that's still firing at me because they're coming in my back. Vigorous opposition, there we go. I think that means that they took out the... Oh no, they didn't. Just gonna take that over again. You gonna start firing at those dudes or no? No, 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 turn around. I'm wasting all my salts on this, Emma, aren't I? There we go. Gear's taken down. I'm gonna have to be really careful. Oh, God damn it. Where the hell? Oh, where the hell do you guys come from? Uh, fucking Broco. Oh, God damn it. So now it's uh, chaining to everybody here. Catch, Booker. Oh, God. So there we go. And that just go along the line. Vigorous opposition, there we go, killed 75 people that were under the uh, influence of a uh, vigor. Whew, and that's why I like fucking Bronco, because that took out most of the guys in uh, one fell swoop. Since we have the upgrade, that effect chains to the next guy that wasn't in range necessarily. Uh, when we kill one that's under the effect of the uh, vigor. Which is, fucking Bronco is just amazing. So. Let's loot this area as well, because there's quite a bit of things here. And I'll get back to you in a second. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. There we go, a wanted poster for uh, the gunsmith. And of course, that's not good for us. Um, I actually only need one lockpick, and I just found one over there. Help me so, uh, out this lock. On it. Do it! Do it. So this is a bit, bit of a bigger it's office done. over here, overlooking every uh, everything here, and another 125 points. So let's uh, I'm just gonna go around every uh, vending machine as well and start activating those. So give me a second. So there we go. Devil's Kiss boost both as well, so increases the damage of Devil's Kiss. There we go. Next up. So yeah, picking up every penny in this game is a bit of a chore, but uh, at least you get something from it. Machine gun, we don't need that. Pick up the purse for a bit of money. And there we have another lockpick, which is going to come in handy. So, service elevator to Finkton, that's what we're going to need. But I know there's some voxophone in here as well, because this is actually Cornelius' slate's, uh, well, locker. Lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the 
child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bed sheets. So there we go. Lady Comstock did not love Elizabeth. What, why that is, we don't really know. It might have something to do with the fact that, well, Elizabeth might not have been the miracle child she is uh, destined Booker. to be. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. This is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. I think that's not what you should take from that, because she also mentions that you're not her daughter. Because I think Lady Comstock just well confirmed that that she she did not uh well uh, gave birth to elizabeth so uh yeah interesting so let's go down to finkton because this is an interesting elevator ride as well greetings my name is jeremiah fink and i want to share with you my personal creed what is the most admirable creature on god's green earth why it's the bee have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? <laughs> well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Be the bee. But now the phone is ringing. This looks familiar, doesn't it? This is, uh, sounds a bit like uh, Bioshock Mr. 1. Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, think here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Indeed he does. But why is that exactly? Because you're... We're the prime candidate, but the candidate for what? Oh, the man's got an ego. Yeah, he does. Because he has a giant golden statue of himself in the middle here. Which is, uh, yeah... Fitting for his ego. Going down. And I think we're gonna... Pass some interesting sights, or that might be another uh, elevator ride and not this one. Nope. Here we have the clock going from uh, now, work, training. Think, okay. Why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Think Company store brings you Think products at a price designed specifically for the Fink worker. So there we go. So Fink employees are getting paid in with tokens that can only be used to buy things from the Fink store. Uh, and that way Fink holds his own employees in, uh, well, in a noose. Because if they try to leave, they will have nothing left. Because they earn just enough to get by, of course. Uh, and he even controls what they can buy. Because, uh, well, they can only buy stuff from his store. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. So that is weird, because part of those supplies are a freaking hand cannon, what which is what I'm, gonna, want with us? what I'm gonna take Excuse pick up. Us, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why? So sorry, young miss. But any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. So that's a bit weird, because up until Does now, the interest... Doesn't strike me as good news. So up until now the interest has been in Elizabeth, for, but apparently Mr. Fink is interested in us. We can't talk anymore to Mr. Flambeau over here. But here we are at Fink MFG itself. 
to all half done a coal from Fink Manufacturing to Shantytown. Starting bid, 20 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes now bid 14. Will you give me 14? 10. 10 minutes bid now 10. Will you give me 9? 9. I bid 9. 9 minutes bid now 9. Will you give me 8? 9 minutes bid now 9. 8. 8 minutes bid now 8. 7 and a half. 7 and a half minutes. 6 minutes and 15 seconds. 6 minutes and 5. 5 minutes 50. I, I can do 5 and 50. 5 and 50. I said 5 and 50. Anyone lower than 5 and 50? Cool, Porter goes for the worker in the blue shirt. So there we go. Not only are there a limited amount of jobs, but the jobs are also uh, being auctioned off at the lowest time it can be performed in, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Because that went from 20 minutes to 5 minutes and a bit. And that keeps going for a while, so I'm not going to stay here. Um, I think I'm actually going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to continue our way through uh, Finkton here. So uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.